So today I'm going to show you how to block off the air injection holes on a Y8 manifold. This isn't necessary for all Y8 manifolds, but if you don't have a 96 to 2000, this will come real in handy, real well. Um, so, so if you ever do a manifold swap, but I do it on all of mine just because I hate air injection holes. I usually take a bolt, thread it in till the bolt breaks off, or I cut it off with an air grinder, and then I smooth it over with 80 grit sandpaper, and it won't leak again. Just to be safe, I put a dab of gasket seal on when I put the intake gasket back on, and it's golden. Never have a leak from it. Right now, that's where my leaks was coming from, the air injection holes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and show you how I do it. Now that you got that main part off, you'll just take and lightly grind. And that's it for that one. Now I'll do these other two and then I use a big bolt here, cut the nipple off here, and do a bolt up top. So I'm going to cut the nipple off first. Now I'll put a bolt in there in a minute, but I'm going to finish with these air injection holes. Okay, so I'm going to tap this one so I can put a bolt in it and then I'm going to cut the bolt off.
you go. No air should get through those, and I always add a dab of uh, gasket seal over just to be on the safe side. And I always do it up here too. So that should delete delete the uh, air injection holes, and you should be able to use this on almost any D series with a D16 head. The reason you can't use this with the D15 head is because this area is just a little bit too tall, and it causes an issue. So just keep that in mind. So I uh, hope this video has helped someone. I know that there was nothing out there for me to find on this except for people saying drill and tap and put in flat allen wrench heads which yeah I mean that's a good idea but this this was like a better solution and it's pretty much permanent so if you have an aluminum welder I just weld those up if you know how to do that and grind them smooth just be sure not to grind too far because you can create a vacuum leak but I always coat the entire thing with gasket sealer just to be double sure. So, uh, hope that video helps someone. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share.